So, have you ever wanted to start a blog? Well, that's a sign. And this test will help you decide which type of blog will suit you best. Are you ready? Grab a piece of paper and a pen and record your answers. I'll let you know the results at the end of the video. Now let's start with your personality. Which three words would you say describe you best? A. Creative, resilient, perfectionist. B. Attractive, confident, creative. C. Active, adventurous, social. D. Kind, funny, sensitive. Or E. Smart, focused, determined. Do you have any hobbies? Pick it if it's on the list. If not, pick something that's closer to you and that you'd like to try. A. Cooking B. Music, photography C. Hiking D. Reading Or E. Computer programming Now, choose a color that best reflects your personality. A. White the color of peace and cleanliness. B. Royal purple is my choice. It's the color of wealth and nobility. C. Green is the closest to me. It's the color of life and nature. D. My color is happy and joyful yellow. All the best things are yellow. Sunshine, autumn, dandelions, and bananas. Or is it E. Blue? This color symbolizes inspiration, freedom, and harmony. Maybe you can relate to that. What's your favorite way to spend a Friday night? A. I like to stay at home, cook dinner, and maybe bake something as a treat. B. I go out with my friends and we have fun. C. Go for a walk and wander around the city, preferably somewhere new. D. I like to stay in bed with a book or a movie and some snacks. E. I meditate, do some self-care, and think of my plans and goals. Now tell me, what's your favorite social media? A. Reddit B. Instagram C. YouTube D. TikTok Or E. Twitter Think of your budget and the way you spend money. Aside from food and bills, what do you spend the most money on? A. Kinchit utensils B. Going out C. Traveling D. Books Or E. Online courses Now, pick your favorite food. Again, if it's not in the photos, just pick something that's more your style. A. Something fancy-looking like seafood B. Salads and healthy food C. Something creative from a different culture D. Pizza, yum or E. Coffee and croissant Now, just pick an outfit that represents your personality. Make your choice and don't forget to write it down. A. Something comfortable and homey B. Something fancy, expensive looking C. Outdoorsy D. Something neat and simple Or E. Office style Your birthday is approaching. There's a choice of five gifts you can receive. What will you pick? A. A set of new shiny pots. B. A gift certificate to a mall. C. A good and big backpack. D. A new set of books from your book list. Or E. Coffee machine. Out of these famous fictional characters, who do you think is more like you? A. Monica Geller from Friends B. Jay Gatsby from The Great Gatsby C. Bilbo Baggins from The Hobbit D. Hermione Granger from the Harry Potter franchise Or is it E. Lisa Simpson from The Simpsons? What's your favorite vacation destination? A. A city life 
staying in an Airbnb, going to local restaurants, and getting to know the city. B. A cruise, where I can fully relax and take good vacation photos. C. Remote places where tourists don't usually go. D. A beach. There's nothing better than spending time at the sea or by the pool and watching a movie in the hotel at night. Or E. The mountains, where I can be by myself with my thoughts and come up with new ideas. When you travel to a different city or country, what are you most excited about? A. Food. I love trying different cuisines. B. I love to dive into city life, visit restaurants and clubs, and of course, take many photos and post them. C. I enjoy the scenery and talking to the locals. I love to immerse myself in new environments. D. I love to wander around the city without maps and discover vintage stores and bookshops. Or E. I look forward to visiting museums and exhibitions. You're a traveler walking through the woods. You can go anywhere you want, and there are five roads waiting for you. Which one do you choose? A. I'll go towards the river. There's water and some fish I can catch. B. Towards the road. I don't want to get lost. The road means there's a city somewhere out there. C. I'll go towards the mountains. There must be beautiful scenery, and maybe there's a hiking trail. D. I'll go further into the woods and enjoy the experience. E. I'll just turn around and go back where I came from. I don't have time for this. You're on a vacation exploring old caves, and you find a magic lamp. You know what to do. Rub it! So you rub, and a genie appears. But what a bummer! The genie says that you only have one wish. Having three is a myth. What will you wish for? A. Unlimited supply of food. B. Unlimited amount of money. C. A teleportation machine. D. The ability to travel in and out of fictional worlds. Or E. The ability to freeze time. Now, imagine you got access to a time machine. Where would you travel? A. I would stay in my time. I would rather travel across space, not time. B. To the Victorian times, with fancy balls and dinners. C. I would go to ancient Egypt or Greece. D. I would go a century into the future. E. I would sell it or start giving tours. Imagine that you already have a successful blog. What would you be most pleased to hear about it and you from other people? A. I love your aesthetic and everything you post is amazing. B. You live an amazingly interesting life. I wish I could be like you. C. You have amazing content and you inspire me to try new experiences. D. Your content is interesting and fresh. I rely on you for your recommendations. Or E. You inspire me to grow and be better every day. I hope to be successful like you one day. Now, count your answers. Do you have more of A's, B's, C's, or D's? Then it's time for the results. So what type of blog should you start? If you have more A's than anything else, then you should consider starting a cooking blog. You probably like cooking or baking, and it's a great way to share your knowledge with the world and try something new. The blog will motivate you to be better and learn more about your hobby. If you got more bees than anything else, then you should start a lifestyle blog. You're probably a very attractive and open person living a very interesting life. You're sure to find many friends, admirers, or just people who will love watching you and learning about your life. Did you get more C's? Fun fact, it resembles my report card. (laughs) Well, I guess you live moving around, and traveling is your true passion. A travel blog is definitely a thing for you. You're a well-traveled person, and you can tell people about it, sharing your experiences and inspiring people to explore the world. Was D your most common answer? Then you could try starting a blog about books and movies. 
You could write reviews, post quotes, make recommendations, or just share interesting details about what you have noticed. It's up to your creativity, and you'll find a lot of like-minded people. Finally, if you pick most ease, then you should consider starting a professional blog on the topic you're qualified in or a productivity blog. You're a hardworking and successful person, so you could share your secrets and inspire people. It's always good to have someone to look up to, and you are a great role model. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. You'll answer 15 questions. Get your phone ready to put down your points after each question. You'll sum them up in the end to find out your true calling. Number one, if you had to access a time machine, would you rather travel to A, the past, I'm a history fan, B, the future, can't wait to see those flying cars, C. Traveling isn't my thing. I'd sell that opportunity to someone else. D. The Great Barrier Reef. Or maybe Paris. I'd rather travel to new places, not in time. Option A brings you 40 points. If you went with B, you just got 20 points. If you picked C, add 10 points to your basket. D is worth 30 points. Number 2. What sounds like the worst idea to you? A. Giving someone full access to your social media. They'll be able to post and comment on your behalf. B. Traveling to the same place every vacation till the end of your life. C. Letting someone pick outfits for you for a month. D. Have your most annoying colleague appointed as your boss. In case you chose option A, give yourself 30 points. B adds 20 points to your score, C is worth 40, and D is a 10-point option. Number 3. You feel happiest when you A. Find a solution for some technical issue that no one else can solve, B. Help a friend solve a problem that's been bugging them for ages, C. Perform on stage, I can't live without attention, D. Work on a painting, write a story, or do some crafts alone. Technology fans, award yourself with 20 points. Those who went for option B, you just got yourself 30 points. C is worth 10, and D gets you 40 points. Number four, your friends call you and say they'll be at your place in 30 minutes. What do you take care of first? A, I'll check the fridge and see what I can cook. B, this house definitely needs urgent cleaning. C, I have to arrange a playlist for the night. Music sets the right mood. D, where are my car keys? I'm leaving. Surprises aren't my thing. If you went for the fridge, here are 30 points for you. 20 points will help you clean the house. Option C brings you 40 points. D is worth 10 points. Number 5. You just won unlimited access to your favorite ride at the fun fair. What is it going to be? A. Bumper cars. I can't go any more extreme than that. B. What's that roller coaster with seven loops? Count me in. C. I love merry-go-rounds. D. Can I swap it for unlimited access to paints and crafts materials? Option A adds 10 points to your basket. B gives 20 points. C is worth 30 and D is worth 40. Number 6. Describe your ideal workout. A. Please direct me to the nearest gym. I'm a treadmill and bench press kind of person. B. My ideal workout is no workout at all, unless marathon viewing counts as a sport. C. Yoga is life. It calms me down and keeps me going. D. I run mornings and evenings. If option A sounds like the way to go, give yourself 20 points. If B is your choice, you just scored 10 points. In case you went with C, it's worth 40 points. Finally, D gives you 30 points. Number 7. How much time do you spend on social media daily? A. I don't have time for that. B. No more than one hour. C. About three hours when I'm bored at work or school. D. 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It's my life.
If you picked option A, you just scored 20 points. If you chose option B, it's worth 10 points. C gives you 40 points and D, 30 points. Number eight, which of those sounds most like your social media behavior? A, I post a lot about everything that happens to me. B, I mostly scroll through the news feed looking for events. C, I share funny memes and new posts. D, I'm not using any of those. A is worth 30 points, B gives you 40, C is a 10, and D is 20 points. Number 9. Pick an image that matches your mood. A. A peaceful sunrise. I'm pretty happy with where I'm at right now. B. Crossroads. I can't decide where to go from now. C. A busy city. I always have something going on, and I like it. D. Thunderstorm and lightning. Things aren't easy right now. Your inner peace brings you 30 points. If you can't decide where to go, here are your 40 points. Busy people get 10 points. Lightning brings you 20 points. Number 10. You decide to paint the walls in your room for a change. Is it going to be A. Green, the color of harmony that I need more of. B. Gray, elegant, serene, functional, just like me. C. One color is too boring. I'd go with one orange, one purple, and two polka dot walls. D. Blue, light and spacious. A gives you 30 points, B is worth 10, C is worth 40 points, D brings you 20 points. Number 11. Time to fill that new empty wall. Will you go with A, abstract and simple drawing, maybe your initial, B, a quote from your favorite song or book, C, a photo collage, picture of your family, friends, and travels, D, something work-related, a to-do list, or monthly planner will do. If you picked A, add 20 points to your score. If you went with B, it's worth 30 points. C brings you 40, and D, just 10 points. 12. Congratulations, you just got a surprise bonus at work. How are you going to spend it? A, two words, designer outlet. B, I'll rent a huge house with a pool and invite all my friends for a party. C, how much is a private jet? D, I'll invest it to double that money in the long run. Fashion fans, you get 40 points. Party people, you just earned 30 points. If you chose the jet, 20 points go your way. Investors earn 10 points. Number 13. Describe the perfect office space for you. A. My own big office or workshop. I need silence and space to focus. B. An informal lounge. I'd get the best ideas in an armchair sipping coffee. C. A cubicle makes me most productive. D. I love working at my favorite coffee shop. Option A brings you 10 points, B is worth 40 points, C brings you 20 points, and D is worth 30 points. Number 14. Would you rather be A. A villain known and feared all across the world, B. An unrecognized hero. Someone else takes credit for everything you do. C. Always happy but poor. D. The richest person in the world but forever alone. If you picked A, add 20 points to your score. B brings you 30 points, C is worth 40, and D gives you 10 points. Number 15. Reward yourself for all those uneasy choices. You can pick one dessert. A. Brownies for life. They remind me of home. B. Sunday, please. Top it with caramel syrup and nuts. C. Salad is my favorite dessert. Healthy diet, you know. D. Some fancy cake with fruit and many layers will do. Brownie fans get 30 points, Sunday lovers get 40 points, salad eaters earn 10 points, and fancy cakes bring you 20 points. Time to sum up all your points. If your final score is 150 to 260 points, you were born to be a business person. You have an analytical mind, 
You're perfect at processing big amounts of data and multitasking. You have a good eye for details and see the big picture. Entrepreneur, PR manager, real estate agent, or event organizer are perfect jobs for you. Did you get 270 to 380 points? You're a natural scientist or explorer. You love solving logical puzzles and building theories. You're focused on the future and want to do something great for humanity. You aren't afraid to step into the unknown. You could be an awesome engineer, biochemist, pilot, or even astronaut. Those who scored 390 to 490 points have the potential of a leader. You have excellent people skills and easily inspire and motivate others. You love to learn and share your knowledge. Others listen to you and ask for your advice. A teacher, a motivational coach, a social worker, or a TV host would be perfect jobs for you. You could even be a president if you want. If you got 490 points and more, you have the soul of an artist. You've always been creative and spontaneous. You're more of an introvert, so it's easier for you to express yourself through painting, writing, or music. You have the talent to see beauty in everyday things. You can make a great writer, photographer, designer, or succeed at any other art form. 